always keeps his promises. Hello there, this is Pastor Pete Pavelic. Thank you so much for joining me for this edition of The Daily Devo. As always, let me remind you of my website, pastorpete.org. And today, I'm going to be talking about the promised land, the Holy Land. And so I want to tell you, go over to my website, pastorpete.org, and sign up to be notified about our biblical trips. We take some amazing trips to learn about the New Testament and the Old Testament. We go to the Holy Land on a regular basis, and I would love for you to come along with us on one of these trips. Just go over to my website, sign up to be notified, to be on the emailing list, so next time a trip is planned, you'll get notified about it. I was reflecting today in Genesis chapter 28, Jacob is left, or he's been sent out by Isaac to go and find his wife, and he stops for the night. He stops to sleep, and he has a dream here in verse 28. And I just want to read this to you, starting in verse 13. It says, The Lord was standing there beside him, saying, I am the Lord, the God of your father Abraham, and the God of Isaac. I will give you and your offspring the land on which you are lying. Your offspring will be like the dust of the earth, and you will spread out toward the west, the east, the north, and the south. And all the peoples on the earth will be blessed through you and your offspring. This is verse 15. Look, I am with you and I will watch over you wherever you go. I will bring you back to this land, the land he's laying on. For I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. And then look at verse 16. I love this. When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. He was afraid and said, What an awesome place this is. This is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. Now we know Jesus is the gate of heaven, right? Jesus said, I, I, I'm i the gate. Um, he's the way. He's the truth. He's the life. I'm not going to tell you the promised land is the gate to heaven. But for Jacob here in this place, he realized that it was special. There is something special about the promised land. Before I went for the first time, I was one of those who thought, eh, you know, it can't really be all that. Who needs to go? What a waste of money. What a waste of time. But there is something special about it. There's something special about that place. There's something special about being in a place where you know so much of the Bible was experienced and lived out. And, and just happened right there. Um, there is something indescribable. I can't describe it, so I won't spend the last 30 seconds here trying to, but I would encourage you to take a trip there if you ever get the opportunity. It's a special, special place. But as we close, here's the real message today. God always keeps his promise. He told Jacob, I made a promise and I'm going to keep it. Your people are going to inherit this land. I'm going to bring you back here one day. And of course, we know that he did. May God bless you today. I hope you have an incredible day wherever you are on the planet. And um, wherever you are is a special place. God is with you and he'll keep his promise. Come over and visit me at pastorpete.org. Sign up for that email list to be notified about future biblical trips. We go to many other places besides the Holy Land. And I would love to have you with us next time. God bless. Come see me, pastorpete.org.